Iran was a veritable torture chamber for young boys who were regularly beaten, raped, and some even killed. Florida's governor and Department of Juvenile Justice are only now confronting that sad history. For the first time on television, the story is being told by CBS4 ITEM investigator Stephen Stock. I remember this musky smell. It has been 50 years. It was interminable. It just went on and on and on. Many of these men have never met. They beat me on the back of the neck, on the back. Our buttocks would be black. They could bring blood with one blow. But their stories of their time spent in a reform school just west of Tallahassee all sound remarkably the same. I faced the wall, told me to grab the rail. It was an old-style army cot, and you were told to grip the overbars above that with your hands, bite into the pillow with your head facing the wall and not make any noise. You were supposed to lay down on a bed, and it was stained, and uh, there was blood on it, you know, and you grasped the rail. Their stories recount a time in the 1950s and 1960s at the Florida School for Boys at Mariana. It was a reform school for runaway and truant and troubled boys run and controlled by the state of Florida. They would beat you for a while on your buttocks, and about that time your buttocks start to go numb. So then they would beat you on the back of your thighs. I turned over real fast and started to jump up, and I saw this look on this guy's face, and I knew he was going to beat me to death. There was no doubt in my mind whatsoever. What it did was it turned me black and blue. For the first time, these boys, now grown men, are speaking out about the torture they say they endured. If you made any noise, they beat you all the more. They're talking about their time there and how, when they tried to run away from the reform school, they would be taken to a small building for more punishment, a place called the White House. Very few of us ever got out of the White House and out of those floggings for less than 50 strokes. Some of those boys carved the number of the beatings they took on the walls, records that remain to this day. I mean, it was like my head exploded. I have never seen a beating like this, ever. Now, this story was first uncovered by Carol Marvin Miller at CBS4's news partner at the Miami Herald. Florida's Department of Juvenile Justice has scheduled a news conference for tomorrow at 9 a.m. It will take place at the Reform School in Mariana, outside Tallahassee, now named the Author Dozier School for Boys. It is still open, believe it or not. And the state hopes to address this long, sordid history and begin the process of healing and closure to the hundreds or possibly even the thousands of boys who had to endure what went on there in the 50s and the 60s. And the state has promised it will destroy that White House, which mm. still stands to this day. Just incredible. Incredible. Story. Just awful. Yep.